we're going to start with making a slip knot. After making a slip knot, we're going to start chaining and that chain will be in the multiples of three plus one. Now here you can see that we have made a chain. Now we are going to start making the stitch. For that, I'm going to chain one. That chain one is going to be our turning chain. We're going to skip that first chain and in the second chain from a hook, we're going to make one single crochet. And in the next chain, we're going to again make one single crochet. So basically our first row is going to be one single crochet in each of the stitches till we reach the end of the chain. So here you can see that we have reached the end of our row and we have made a whole row with single crochets. Now moving on to our row 2, we are going to chain 1 and turn around our work. Now in the very first chain we are going to make one single crochet. Now we're going to make one half double crochet in that same stitch. Now we're going to make one double crochet in that same stitch. Now we're going to skip two stitches and in the third stitch we're going to make one single crochet. One half double crochet in the same stitch. and one double crochet in the same stitch. Again, we're going to skip two chains and continue doing the same stitch all over the row. Now, I know how simple it is, but yet it gives us a very beautiful texture, which is why I love the stitch. It is also beginner friendly. Because all you have to do in this uh, project is chains, uh, single crochets, half double crochets and double crochets. So basically our entire row is going to be this same stitch all throughout the row. Now I'm just going to continue making my stitches and I'll see you at the end of this row. So here we are at the end of our row, we are left with uh, only three stitches. So in the very last stitch, we are going to make one single crochet and that is how we are going to end our stitch. I'll just show you. So we're going to make our usual stitches in here. We've made one double crochet and in the very last stitch, again you skip two stitches and in the very last stitch you're going to make one single crochet and that is how we end this row. Here our row 2 is complete. And this is how it should look like. Now moving on to our row 3, we're going to chain 1 and turn around our work. Now our row 3 is going to be the same as our row 2. In the very first stitch, we're going to make one single crochet. One half double crochet. and one double crochet. Now we skip two stitches and 
in the third stitch we're going to repeat the same thing now our third stitch is going to be the single crochet that we made in our second row so one single crochet on top of that single crochet one half double crochet and one double crochet all in the same stitch again we're going to skip two stitches and in the third stitch which is the single crochet we're going to make one single crochet one half double crochet and one double crochet so as I've mentioned earlier our row 3 is going to be exactly same as our row 2 so uh, let me just complete this row 3 and I'll see you at the end of this row here you can see we're at the end of our row 3 and you see that one single crochet let us just quickly make our uh, group of stitches in that one single crochet one half double crochet and one double crochet in it and I'll show you how to make uh, end our row three of course it is exactly the same as we end our row two that is with one single crochet in the very last stitch now you see that uh, very last stitch we're going to make one single crochet in it and that is how we end our row now moving on to our row four we are going to chain one and turn around our work and now in every stitch we are going to make one single crochet so our row four is basically one single crochet throughout the row just like our first row that we made now I'm just going to continue making my single crochets and I'll see you at the end of this row So here you can see we are at the end of our row 4 and this is how our stitch should look like So to begin with we are first going to make a slip knot and once we've made a slip knot we are going to make a foundation chain and a foundation chain is supposed to be in the multiples of 3 plus 2 so here I'm going to make 18 chains plus 2 so in total I'm going to have 20 chains this is a foundation chain and now we are going to skip these two initial chains and we are going to work in that third chain from a hook so in that third chain we are going to make a single crochet and now we are going to chain two after chaining two in that very same chain we are again going to work one single crochet and now we are going to skip the next three chains two chains and in the third chain we are going to again work one single crochet chain two and uh, one single crochet in that same stitch again Again, we are going to skip the next two chains and in the third chain we are again going to make one single crochet chain two and one single crochet again so basically this is going to be our first row it's going to be one single crochets two chain two and one single crochet in the same stitch then skip the next two chains and in the third chain again we're going to repeat with one single crochet chain two and one single crochet now this stitch is worked in rows which makes it amazing for scarves or blankets
also it's not a yarn eater and uh, still it creates a beautiful texture in the third chain again one single crochet chain two and one single crochet now we will be left with uh, three chains on a hook and as usual we are going to skip the two chains and in the third chain that is the very last chain we are going to make a stitch and here we are going to make a half double crochet in the very last stitch now this is our row one our row one is complete and it should somewhat look like this now moving on to our uh, second row we are going to chain three and we are going to turn around our work now in the very first chain two space we are going to make a double crochet and we're going to make another double crochet and the third and the last one so here we are not working in any stitch but we are working in the chain spaces now in the next chain two space we are going to make three more double crochets now this makes the row two easier as well as we don't have to find any stitch and work in that rather we work in the spaces so this is our second double crochet and we're going to make the third and the last double crochet in that chain two space as well now again we are going to skip all the stitches and in the next chain 2 space we are again going to make 3 double crochets. So our row 2 is basically 3 double crochets in each chain 2 space. And this pattern is a 2 row repeat. So our third row is going to be uh, the first row what we did and our fourth row is going to be the second row. So all throughout this pattern, we are just going to repeat row one and row two. Again, in the chain two space, three more double crochets. And now we are left with only one chain two space and in that as well we are going to make three such double crochets now I'll show you how to end our row two now after completing uh, the three double crochets in the chain two space will you can see that we will be left with one single crochet which is our last stitch in that stitch we are going to make a double crochet so this is how we conclude our row two and once done our pattern should somewhat look like this now I'm just going to you know do one more row like two more rows with you guys so that you can understand it better we're going to chain one and we're going to turn around our work and we're going to make a half double crochet in the very first stitch then we are going to skip one stitch and we're going to work our stitch in the next stitch so we are going to make a single crochet in the second stitch again we are going to chain two and make a single crochet in that same stitch now 
now again we are going to skip two stitches and in the third stitch we are going to make a single crochet chain two and a single crochet so this is our first row we are repeating our first row now again we are going to skip two stitches and in the third stitch we are going to make a single crochet chain two and a single crochet again so as you can see in this pattern we are just using chain stitches single crochets and double crochets so it's a very beginner friendly pattern because these are the stitches a beginner actually learns when he starts crocheting again a single crochet chain two and a single crochet in that same stitch skip two chains a single crochet chain two and a single crochet in that same stitch now we'll be left with two stitches and we're going to skip that one stitch and in the second stitch we are going to make a half double crochet so this is how our, we will conclude our row three we'll, have, we'll be left with three loops and i hope we're going to yarn over and pull through all the three loops This is how your pattern should look like and as we have discussed we are again going to repeat the row 3, the row 2, for that we are going to chain 3 and we are going to turn around our work. Now in the chain 2 space we are going to make 3 double crochets. Now this chain 3 is going to be counted as our first double crochet so like we conclude our row two with a double crochet we also begin it with a double crochet which is this chain three so we are making three double crochets in the chain two space now again uh, in the next chain two space we are going to make three double crochets this pattern actually grows really fast I'm going to do a few more rows and I'll show you how our piece turns out to be. Once done, our stitch should somewhat look like this. So to begin with, we are first going to make a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, I have a separate detailed video for the same and I'll be linking it in the description box below. So once we have made our slip knot, we're going to start chaining and we're going to make a number of odd chains. So whatever the length is, you just have to make a chains that are odd in number. So once we have made a chain long enough, we are going to insert our hook in the second chain from a hook. So we'll skip the first chain, insert a hook in the second chain, yarn over, pull through. We'll be left with two loops on a hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is our first single crochet. Now we're going to make another in the next chain and yet another in the next chain so our row one is basically single crochets now i'm just going to make single crochets in all the chains and i'll see you once i'm done so here we have made a row of single crochets and now we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to turn around our work now we're going to skip that first stitch and in the second stitch we're going to make a double crochet. Now 
we are going to work uh, around this double crochet we'll yarn over and we're going to uh, insert a hook around that double crochet and yarn over pull through again we're going to yarn over insert a hook around the double crochet and yarn over pull through we're going to do this two more times so in total we're going to do it four times around a double crochet and this is uh, the last hook one now we'll be left with nine loops on a hook so we are going to yarn over and pull through eight loops now we'll be left with two loops on a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through both the loops just to close the stitch so this is our first bead stitch now we're going to skip that next stitch and we are going to again make a double crochet in that uh, alternate stitch now again we are going to yarn over and we're going to insert a hook around the double crochet and yarn over pull through we'll again do the same thing three more times now we skip a stitch in between these bead stitches as this bead stitch is actually the width of two stitches now again we'll be left with nine loops on a hook we are going to yarn over and pull through eight loops we'll be left with two loops on a hook we are going to yarn over and pull through both the loops this is going to be a second bead stitch and now we are again going to skip one stitch and we'll make another double crochet in that next stitch so basically this is how we make our bead stitch and we are just going to continue doing this till the end of the row now here we are at the end of our row and i have made that double crochet in the last stitch as well right over there and now moving on to our row three we are going to chain one and turn around our work now we're going to insert a hook in the very first stitch yarn over pull through we'll be left with two loops on a hook yarn over pull through both the loops so this row three is basically going to be single crochets in all the stitches now i'm just going to continue making my single crochets and i'll see you once i'm done now here we are at the end of our row three and we are going to make our last single crochet in that first chain two that we made don't forget to make a single crochet over there and our row three is now complete moving on to row four we are going to chain two and we are going to turn around our work now this will be the bead stitch row for that we are going to skip one stitch from the hook and make a double crochet in the next stitch now we are going to work around this double crochet for the bead stitch for that we're going to yarn over insert a hook around the double crochet yarn over pull through we are again going to do this the second time and the third time and now for the fourth and the last time now we should be left with nine loops on a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through eight loops we'll be left left with two loops on a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through both the loops this is our first bead stitch now we're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet now 
Now again we are going to work around this double crochet. For that we are going to yarn over, insert a hook around the double crochet and yarn over pull through. Again do the same thing and two more times. We'll be left with nine loops on a hook again and we're going to yarn over and pull through eight loops. We'll be left with two loops on a hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through both the loops just to close the stitch. Again we're going to step, skip one stitch and in the next stitch we're going to make a double crochet. And this is how we will continue making the bead stitch. Now I'm going to make many more rows and I'll see you once I'm done. Once done, a bead stitch should somewhat look like this. So to begin with, we are first going to make a slip knot. Once we have made a slip knot, we are going to start chaining now and we are going to make a chain in the multiples of 4 plus 3. So I am going to make a chain of 19 here, so it is going to be 16 plus 3 chains. Now here we are done making a chain of 19 and now we are going to move on to our row 2. So for row 2 we are going to skip the first chain and in the second chain we are going to insert a hook, yarn over pull through, we will be left with 2 loops on a hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is going to be our first single crochet, now in the next chain we are again going to make a single crochet. In the third chain as well so our row 2 is basically a row of single crochets now once we are done with our row 2 like the row of single crochets we are now going to chain 1 and we're going to turn around our work and now we are going to make a double crochet in that very first stitch for that we're going to yarn over insert a hook in that very first stitch yarn over pull through we'll be left with three loops on a hook we're going to yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops now we're going to skip the next stitch and and we're going to make a double crochet in that third stitch from the hook Now we're going to make another double crochet in that next stitch. So in the fourth stitch from our hook. And we're going to make yet another double crochet in the next stitch which is the fifth stitch from our hook. And now we are going to simply make one double crochet in that skipped stitch. So for that we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert a hook in that skipped stitch which is the second stitch. So this is actually a bit tricky but once you get the hang of it, it's all sorted. So you have to yarn over, pull through and you have to pull through uh, till the height of a double crochet. And now we're going to yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops. So you can see that it has formed a crossover stitch. Now again we are going to yarn over and we're going to skip one stitch and in the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet like that. Now in the next stitch again we are going to make another double crochet and another one in the third stitch. Now we are again going to make a double crochet in that skip stitch. 
so we're going to yarn over insert a hook in that skipped stitch yarn over pull through we'll be left with three loops on a hook we're going to yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops as well so this is how we are going to continue making these crossover stitches till we get at the end of our row Now moving on to row 4, we are going to chain 1 and we are going to turn around our work. Now we are going to make a single crochet in the next stitch. And yet another in the next stitch. So our row 4 is going to be all single crochets. Our row 5 is again going to be uh, the crossover stitches for that we are going to chain 1 and we are going to turn around our work. Now we are going to make a double crochet in that very first stitch as we did earlier. So we are going to make a double crochet in that very first stitch. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and in the third stitch from our hook we are going to make a double crochet. And now in the next stitch again we're going to make one double crochet. One more in the next stitch. And now we are going to make a double crochet in that skipped stitch. So this is how we are going to continue making our pattern and I am going to make a few more rows and I'll see you once I'm done. Once complete our crossover stitch should somewhat look like this. Now we are going to start with making a chain in the multiples of 4. I am going to make a chain of 16 here as this is just a sample swatch. So if you don't know how to make these basic stitches like a slip stitch or chains or a single or a double crochet or any of the basic stitches I have separate detailed videos for the same and I'll be linking it in the description box below for you guys so once we make a chain of 16 we are now going to skip two chains and in the third chain we're going to make a double crochet We'll yarn over, insert a hook in the third chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two loops and two loops. We are again going to make another double crochet in the same chain and we'll make, we'll chain two now and we're going to make a single crochet in the next chain. Here we make a single crochet. Now again we are going to skip two chains, one and two and in the third chain we are going to make two double crochets. This is our first double crochet and we will make another double crochet in the same chain. We are going to chain 2 
and in the next stitch we are going to make one single crochet now we are going to skip two chains again and in the third chain we are again going to make two double crochets one and two we are going to chain two now and one double crochet in the next chain moving on to our last uh, stitch we are going to skip two chains and in the third chain we are going to make two double crochets one and two we're going to chain two now and we'll be left with only one chain in that we're going to make one single crochet this ends our row one this is how your row one should look like moving on to our row two we're going to chain two and turn around our work now in that first gap in the first chain two space we are going to make a double crochet and another double crochet in the same space now we're going to chain two We're going to make one single crochet in that same space now you see in the next chain two space we're going to make two double crochets chain two one double crochet in the same chain two space now as you can see that this stitch works up really quickly as we are not uh, making stitches in any of the stitches but we are making stitches in the uh, chain two space so when you're working in spaces it is always quicker chain two and one double crochet in the same chain two space And in the last space chain two sorry double two double crochets chain two and one single crochet in the same J2 space this is how our row two should look like Again, we are going to chain two turn around our work and again we are going to work in the chain two spaces two double crochets chain two and one single crochet in the same chain two space again we are going to work in the next chain two space it is such a beginner friendly stitch and uh, a scarf making a scarf will just take you a couple of days like a day or two as it's so quick one and two chain two and one single crochet in the same chain two space now this is how our row three should look like now i'm going to make some more rows and i'll see you once my swatch is complete so i'm done with the swatch of our tulip stitch and this is how it should look like 
and you can see that it has what I like about the stitch is that it has texture even on the sides it looks so pretty thanks for watching my video if you do like my video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos happy crocheting